Hello and welcome, it's Bushwacky here with another Station Ears tutorial. On today's video we are going to be setting up an entire gas filtering system. This has definitely been one of my more requested videos, so hopefully you guys enjoy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started on this build. Uh, what we're going to need is six kit tanks. We're going to need six kit atmospherics. Unfortunately, they do not stack. Uh, we're going to need some cable coil and a bunch of pipe. Now, we're using six tanks because there are six different gases that we're going to want to filter. So we're going to place these around on the far side of our wall here. Now. The six gases that we're going to filter are going to be oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, uh, pollutants, water, and hydrogen, or uh, fuel, or volatiles as it's called. Uh, we'll place down our kit atmospherics now. I like placing them sideways. Uh, this is going to allow us to access the filters as the filters do slowly wear out over time. So we're going to place this at least two away from our tanks. So we'll place it down like this. And we'll get all six of these placed in front of our tanks here. Now if you want to mix uh, certain fuels or anything like that, you may want more tanks in the future. Uh, but for now, uh, these six will be okay. Let's switch that. Okay. Now I'm going to build this system in parallel, so that's going to allow all of the gases to be filtered at once. It pretty much means that uh, instead of going in one filter, out of it, into the next filter, all of them are going to have the same intake. And I've done some experiments and I've found that uh, that is definitely the fastest way to filter things. And also if your uh, f uh, filters that you put in here uh, for some reason run out, it doesn't get stopped, it just stops filtering that one gas. So I'm gonna pipe this up now. So the end here, I'm just gonna do a corner. So this side of it will be the input, and then this will be the unfiltered side, and then coming straight out of it will be the filtered. So we'll build a corner, we'll go straight. We wanna build a T-junction here so that the gas can, uh, the uh, unfiltered gas can come out and we'll build a T-junction at the next one so that the air can go back into it. I'll put a corner here and then we don't want to connect up this filtered because that is going to be what uh, the good gases that come out. So if you have an, two oxygen filters here, the oxygen will come out this side and go into our tank here. So I'll build a corner and I will go to the tank. Now when connecting to the tank, I like putting a junction. Uh, this, so this is going to allow you to filter your air. It'll store in the tank and then if for some reason you need to access this line, uh, that is the point at which you will do it. So if you want to bring oxygen to a room, that's uh, the point where you would connect. So I'll put a straight piece here and I am going to pipe up the rest of these filters uh, just like I did these two. And I'm back. Now you can see that all of these filters are hooked up exactly the same. So let's just go over it one more time. We have our main line here. So this will be all of our unfiltered gas. Uh, that's going to go into the input here. So it'll go into the filter. If it's uh, the type of gas that the filters are trying to filter, it'll come out the filter side and go into the tank. And if it's not, it'll go out this output and be allowed to be filtered by the rest of these. Also, again, I put junctions here so that we're able to connect our pipes up to it later if we want to. Now, this used about uh, 70 pipe, so just make sure that you have quite a bit when you're going in to start doing this. Now, over here, I left this open. Now, I'm going to put a corner here and kind of bring this out. Uh, this pipe here uh, would be good for attaching to the exhaust of a furnace. So if you wanted to capture the gases off of a furnace, you could connect to here. Also, if you're on the planet like Mars or Europa, 
Uh, you could put a passive or an active vent here, and that would allow the outside gases in the atmosphere to be filtered by your system. So now that all of our piping is done, we can drop it, and we have to start wiring this up. Now, in the future, we're definitely going to want to be able to uh, build some logic into the system so that they don't overpressurize. So we're going to make sure that we connect up our power and our data slots. Also, we want to hook up the small tank data as well. So just connect all these up and bring it kind of to a central line here. Go straight through the pipe and connect it with the junction. And then we want to connect up the rest of these uh, just like I did for this first one. So I'll be right back when I'm done. And thanks to the magic of editing, I am all wired up. So you can see that I've connected our data up to our line here, and we have our power and data for each of these filters connected up. Now the final step that you need to make sure that you do is that you connect it to your uh, main power here. So we'll just grab one of these here. So we'll just go through here, and we will connect our pieces up. Now you may have to go over the pipe here. If it is a straight piece you can just go straight through it but uh, that is a corner. So we will have to go up into the air and we'll put a corner here. Go straight and we can come back down. And finally, we'll connect it up to our main power. And there we go. So now we can test it and make sure everything is working all right. Uh, I only suggest turning these on when you don't have a filter in there. Um, just because if you accidentally put the wrong filters in, uh, you could start actually filtering gas that you don't want to. Even though this line is closed, you shouldn't have any uh, problems like that. So let's turn this off now. And what we're going to need to do now is install our filters. So we will come over to our cabinet here. And I have put out all the six different types of filters. So let's start with our carbon dioxide. Now I like putting the filters close to gases that we might mix together. So carbon dioxide will end up probably getting mixed with oxygen and nitrogen in order to make a habitable environment. So let's go and put our carbon dioxide right here. Uh, the nitrogen will end up getting mixed with that at some point, so we will put our nitrogen here. Now these are just the normal filters. They're pretty easy to make. I think they require only five iron. I would definitely suggest starting out with these, but uh, as your base gets bigger, it's definitely a good idea to upgrade to the larger ones as they do not uh, wear quite as quickly gonna put our oxygen here. Now we want to mix our fuel with our oxygen or our, uh, hydrogen. Sorry, we want to mix our oxygen and our volatiles in order to make fuel in the future. So that's why I'm gonna put these two close to each other. Uh, finally, I'll put water next to our volatiles there. And finally, I'll put the pollutants in. Now you don't need to put both filters, but uh, obviously it'll last twice as long if you are using both of them. So now when you turn these on, anything that's in this system will be filtered. Now there is nothing in there right now, so nothing's gonna happen. So one way to start putting stuff into your tanks uh, is to build a furnace. So I'm gonna put a furnace together here and we will start filtering some stuff, so let's grab a furnace and we'll place the furnace down right we'll place it right there I'm gonna use my magic I had a magic wand over here somewhere it's in my inventory nope oh yeah it is, okay so uh, when you're using creative mode, you can use this authoring tool and it automatically builds stuff for you. It comes in pretty handy. We'll grab our pipe, which 
is right here. And we will connect our exhaust, so our output, down to our line down here. Go down. And I'm not going to use a valve because I know that everything I put in here I want to be able to filter right away. I'm not going to try to uh, smelt anything in here. So let's turn these all on now that we have our filters all set. And let's filter some stuff. So let's do uh, water. So I think it's uh, ice, item ice. And some of this is going to probably go into the atmosphere. So I'm going to try to be really quick to put it directly into our furnace. And we're going to have to melt this down. I have to press this button a lot because the chamber is too cold. You can see that there's zero pressure. The second I press this button, there's zero pressure. That's because these filters just work so quickly. Uh, and then we can do some oxide. And we will put some of this in here. Melt this all down. Now oxide's gonna have some oxygen and some uh, nitrogen, I believe, maybe a little carbon dioxide in it as well. So now that we've got this stuff into our filter system, and you can see there's zero pressure in the furnace, which means there's zero pressure in this entire line because it is working so fast. Uh, we're gonna grab our tablet now. So grab our tablet, and we'll put our atmospheric analyzer in it. And we can close out all these screens. And we can turn these on, this on. So you can see that our room uh, has some oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen. As we look at this line, it's showing it so that there is nothing in there. Uh, that's because these filters, like I said, are just working so quickly. Let's go to our tank and see what we can uh, find. So we have nothing in our uh, pollutant tanks. We should have some water. So there we go. We have 100% water. And right now the pressure is uh, 215 uh, kilopascals. Now it's quite cold. That will start warming up as it kind of reaches room temperature here. These tanks and this pipe here uh, will slowly warm that up. Uh, volatiles, hopefully we don't have any, which we do not. We can look at our tank here. We have 100% oxygen as I fly around. 100% oxygen at 270 uh, kilopascals probably no carbon dioxide and we have some uh, nitrogen as well so guys that's it it's pretty simple to get set up and this is going to allow you really to filter everything that you'll need in the future we'll have to maybe put up some consoles to see uh, what pressure and temperature the tanks are at and we'll want to route these pipes places in order to get our different gases into different rooms or maybe even to mix them to make fuel for our furnace or to make air for our base. But that's it. It's pretty simple and uh, it works very well. So I really hope that this video is helpful to you guys. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them below. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwaka out.